All right, guys, still out at the range, and this time we have a, another double stack 1911. This one is the TSOS Carry 1911 DS, and is very, very similar in the grip setup, but a lot different in the slide and size setup compared to the Night Stalker. Can you guys shut up? All right, first shot's here at about eight yards. Let's see where our point of aim, point of impact is. See if I suck. So what were you telling me you were mad at me for? I'm gonna have to buy this. <laughs> All right, y'all. T sauce, 1911 DS in the carry model. So this one is a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller rail, still has the full size grip, ambidextrous safety, upgraded hammer, nice trigger, all that nice stuff. We got a dot, white dot front sight with a blacked out rear sight, which you all know that is exactly the way I like my sight. So another two mags here. Sir Charles just got his two through with no malfunction still. God, that is smooth. That might actually rack smoother than the Night Stalker. All right. In the dark. Oh, first one. Failure to eject. I can't even see my rear sight. Yeah. So I'm like just guessing with the front sight. It's crazy how I can see the target perfectly fine. <laughs> when I go up to shoot, it disappears. <laughs> Last one. Let's see if we can hit one of those very tiny plates. This is the only time I suggest one-eyed shooting. I heard some dirt. I heard a ding. <laughs> ding. <laughs> ding library. All right, besides that one, guys, uh, one clear malfunction there. I don't think that was an issue with the mag. Um, double checking this mag. This is not the one that has actually created issues before. So I believe that was just a, a failure. At this point, this one has probably been shot at least about 300 rounds as well. Had a guy running this one in class today as well as several people getting their hands on it and shooting it also. Um, but for a, what, technically a 1911 platform, so a double stack 1911, to have 800 rounds in less than a week between these two guns, 
and only have on one hand malfunctions to me is pretty unheard of uh me and charles <laughs> if you guys have watched our videos for any time you know we are pretty much cursed when it comes to 1911s and even 2011s our big uh, fiasco with cosaint but gosh darn it guys if these are not exactly what we have needed in this industry and for a price that is good for everybody this is absolutely insane to be around i think this one is around 900 uh I, i'm sorry this one is probably closer to about 800 the full size uh duty model is 900 the night stalker that we have been shooting is right at a thousand and their new mac double stack 1911 is right at around 1100 so for technically less than what is that uh three or four grand i'm sorry you could have four 2011s which is absolutely unheard of or i'm sorry double stack 1911s but check them out guys t sauce here locally sds imports gets these in check your dealers ask them about this stuff because once these get released these are going to be very very hard to get i promise you that What's going on, y'all? Today we are talking about the TSOS USA 1911 Carry DS. This is one of their new four double stack 9mm 1911s, and this one is absolutely aimed at the Carry uh, type of version here. Before we dive into this one, guys, Again, big shout out to TSOS USA and SDS Imports for getting this out to us. We were able to review two of their four brand new pistols that are releasing that shot and had an absolute blast doing so. So big shout out to them. Really appreciate that opportunity, guys. It was really fun to be one of the first ones to get rounds down range with this thing. But go check them out, guys, at TSOS USA on Instagram and Facebook, SDS Imports on Instagram and Facebook, or their website at tsosusa.com diving into this one guys there's a lot of similarities and a lot of differences between this and the night stalker number one obviously we have much more of a carry type of setup when it comes to the length of barrel so we go from a 5.5 inch in the full size barrel to the 4.25 inch here so losing a little bit over an inch in that slide length but this thing still shot phenomenally flat guys this thing easily had 250 to 300 rounds through it in the short amount of time that we had it and it only had one malfunction and that could have been contributed to me riding that slide release. So absolutely can't just uh, pin that down on the gun itself. Just like the Night Stalker, they both ran flawlessly um, in my eyes, especially when it comes to most of the 1911 and 2011s that we get to review just have nothing but problems. So it was a good uh, change of pace to have these just run the way they're supposed to without any issues. The Night Stalker itself, I ran through a class uh, as well. So I had the 250, 300 round testing as well as a 200 to 300 round class that I shot that thing in. So that one has well over 500 and it did everything it was supposed to. This one, not quite as much because I didn't run it in the class, but it still has several hundred rounds through it and still going strong. And TSOS has done a really good job, guys. While they have kind of taken away some of the Gucci features that the Night Stalker has, you still are absolutely loaded down and ready to go with this thing. So number one, you have a white dot front sight as well as the blacked out rear sight. That is something that I absolutely can get down with. I would prefer a fiber optic or a tritium front sight, but this still works to my liking enough. Um, I think that is just the kind of standard in my eyes it's the blacked out rear sight with some sort of high vis front sight so this was very easy to pick up and use in the iron type of setup we also have the optic mounting system the same as the night stalker guys you're going to be able to mount a 507k 407k or rmsc line of optics to this thing as well as several other versions uh, from different companies so like gideon optics crimson tracer several other companies out there that are putting out that smaller line of optics. So you go from, you know, just three choices to possibly a little bit closer to seven to 10 if you guys go out there and look. Other than that, they've done a really good job of giving you pretty much everything I would want in a carry gun. We've got the front serrations with the rear serrations, guys. You got the upgraded hammer, just like the Night Stalker did. Upgraded Ambi grip safety, as well as an Ambi thumb safety here. So very easy to manipulate and get to and then kind of that same upgraded slide stop as well. Uh, the trigger itself 
I actually like the way this trigger looks a little bit better. This one has kind of the cutouts in the trigger compared to just the solid trigger that the Night Stalker had, but the trigger itself is very, very nice too. So when we look at this, getting our handy dandy uh, trigger press tool out, I got the grip safety pressed. Five pounds. Let's see if we can do it again. Grip safety pressed. Just over five pounds again. So very, very close in the uh, trigger weight or trigger press weight between the Night Stalker and the Carry between a, a quarter and a half a pound difference, if any. And you know, there is obviously some room for error with that type of tool that we're using. So don't put all your eggs in a basket when it comes to this thing, it could be a little bit off. But controls are great guys. The rail itself is a little bit shorter. So instead of having the four spot pick rail at the bottom to put your lights of choice, you're gonna have a little bit smaller that is gonna limit you to a little bit less options in the light choice. But I was able to put my TLR 7A, which is absolutely meant for a type of carry like this, and it worked really well, even to the point to where you can see the, the buttons actually come over the trigger guard perfectly on this thing. So I don't know that I've had a better fit with this light on a gun than I do with this carry uh, 1911 double stack here. The grips itself are exactly the same. So between the Night Stalker and the Carry, same exact polymer hybrid grip here. You've got the metal up front, but it comes into the plastic trigger guard and kind of the plastic grip itself. Same texture, same design. Everything is exactly the same as you would see in the Night Stalker. But yeah, guys, everything was very easy to use. The mag release exactly the same, thumb safety, hammer, everything worked exactly the way it should and very, very well and smooth. Um, we had a mixture of people at the range that preferred this one over the Night Stalker or the Night Stalker over this one. I know I have already mentioned a couple times that I like the Night Stalker. I like the uh, the full size slide with the same type of grip, full size pick rail, so I can put my Surefire 300 and fit most of my holsters, um, as well as the little bit of upgrades when it comes to the sights, um, the threaded barrel, and the slide cuts and stuff like that. So you know that's kind of just some nitpicky stuff and absolute personal preference. If I was given one of these, I would absolutely take one. But if I had to choose between the Carry and the Night Stalker, it is going to be a very, very hard choice because they absolutely both serve their purpose as well. But in my eyes, they have two different purposes, if that makes sense. But guys, go check them out. This is releasing at SHOT. So if this video is released, uh, the goal is to get this out before the end of SHOT. So if this is coming out the weekend after shot, uh, this has officially been released now at the show, and you guys should be able to start ordering these through your dealers or seeing them in gun stores here probably within the next two to four weeks, I would imagine. I know they are ready to hit the ground hard with these things, and being at $799 MSRP for this particular model, these things are not going to last long, guys. They are going to go super fast, just like anything TSOS does. Um, so keep your eyes out if you guys are looking. Be sure to snag one because even if it is not the exact one you want, I'm assuming the trade possibilities with this thing are going to be um, pretty great. So, And guys, as well, same mags. This comes with two mags in your tactical case, just like the Night Stalker did. You get a, a cleaning rod, a cleaning brush, as well as a trigger lock in this thing and for sure two checkmate 17 round mags so great mags that they're throwing in these are the same mags that are being used by some of the bigger 2011 makers in the market right now so you know that you can trust these because these are pretty much the standard of what everybody goes for so that's it guys let me know what do you guys think of the new lineup of tsos double stack 1911 9 mil pistols do you guys want one are you guys planning on getting one as soon as they become available or do you guys think you're just going to stick with the 45 and the 10 mil 1911s me personally i love the 9 mil 1911s especially the double stack so this is right up my alley and it's really wonderful to see tsos jumping into this game here uh, being such a good, reputable company that I have had personal experience with, and also just being our hometown boys hitting it out of the park. So, 
But yeah, we really appreciate your guys' feedback. Let us know what you guys think. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends. And as always, stay alert, stay alive. We'll see y'all in the next video. Sauce DS nineteen eleven carry. This thing is smooth. For under a thousand bucks, you need to add this one. but this is a swim basket.